a learning circle is different than a class because you don't have a teacher. There's not that traditional teacher-student relationship. It's more about peer learning. It's about um, learning from other people's experiences, bringing your own experiences into the material that you're taking in, um, and really making it more personal than a class because you're building a little community where you're all trying to work towards the same goal, which is learning something new. Yeah, I, I think that the first thing in setting up uh, uh, a learning circle is to, um, to make clear of the expectations. Uh, that it's not a classroom, that it's a group, that it's, n that it's not students, it's participants, that it's not the teacher, it's the facilitator. Uh, a team effort and everyone is a participant equally. Uh, I think that that's, that's very important in uh, going from what we know as a traditional classroom to um, this new exciting model of learning circles. Uh, one of the biggest questions I get from learning circles actually comes from fellow library staff uh, and it, it's about uh, how to, um, uh, how it differs from a traditional class and uh, how it could possibly work without, um, without having a, an instructor who's fully trained and, and experienced in leading the class. Uh, the model is uh, very similar to the way that we approach one-on-one -on -one interactions with people and that it's about active listening, exploration with people. Um, and sort of jointly pursuing a, a topic of interest um, with just a little bit more organization around it. Uh, but in the library framework, I think oftentimes uh, it it's, it's feels a little informal and feels uh, a little frightening because there's a lack of control. Um, and for me, of course, is very much somebody who stands up in front of a room um, and talks at you, and there might be some discussion. Um, there might be some collaboration there when you're working on group projects, but essentially a course, you are just learning, right? You're receiving information. Um, and Learning Circles has a lot of that, but it also has this, um, the discussion aspect is a lot more focused. So you, um, with our Learning Circle, we did the learning on your own for like 45 minutes. We were very strict. I keep a watch at all times. And um, then we had, we would structure the after discussions on whatever they wanted to talk about. Um, we ended up doing a lot of practical application of the what we had just learned and how they were going to take it with them and what they were going to do in the week leading up to the next one. Um, and I feel like those are the kinds of things that really made it a, something where they succeeded however much they wanted to put into it, which I guess you get from a normal circle or a course, but um, I think you're more inclined to succeed when you are doing it on your own and you are trying to make your life better.